Hey everyone's Dev here and welcome to Drop Dead The Cabin Overview. So it seems like this is a sequel of something that released I believe at the launch of Quest 1. That's what I kind of remember because at the time I was very selective about what I play if it's for the money or just the intensity of doing this channel. So I never had an opportunity to play the first game, but this seems to be pretty interesting to me. So Drop Dead the Cabin is a zombie horror shooter game where you're put in the literal cabin environment to survive and slay hordes of enemies incoming, with each death getting stronger and stronger and beat the game either solo or in co-op mode. This is pretty much the actual definition of wave-based gameplay. If it's relevant nowadays, it really depends on the taste and what you search for in VR, to me it's kind of 50-50. There's a lot of interesting stuff happening because I think this is the first time that I see full-on meta avatars being used in that much action and pretty much intense stuff. That kind of brings to you an insight of how would the metaverse look like, where in every game you would look exactly the same and be a part of games by using your own avatar. It claims to have some kind of challenges going on and objectives with goals to achieve, so it's not like you're gonna repeat the same thing over and over. Two player co-op mode seems to be a little bit not enough for me. I would think the magic number is always four or something along those lines. I'm not sure if it's because there's just so much going on that the platform can't handle it or it's just the devs preference but either way we'll see if I will find someone to play with but I can always do it solo should be pretty fun regardless and let's slay some zombies all right so we have yet another case of no audio footage like at this point I'm not surprised sometimes it's just a hit or miss with this platform I'm also not mad either because I think I'm just resistant to the bullshit nowadays. And the video is not gonna be less effective if I'll just do an intro with some footage plugged in. Like, in this day and age, with the stuff that will be happening soon, I don't care. <laughs> so the overall project is pretty interesting, like the whole action revolves around the cabin. You can play it solo or in co-op mode, cause it doesn't really make a difference. Though you need to be well versed and pass properly the tutorial, because there's a lot of things happening beforehand to actually understand the mechanics and what you actually need to do. It's not very simple at the start, but once you get into it, the flow of the gameplay picks up rather nicely. It's kinda old school VR, meaning there's no physics going on or the interactions between the gunplay, melee combat and zombies isn't necessarily top tier. Like I felt there was some kind of a disconnect between you the player and the enemies. Maybe it's because I'm so used to nowadays having some sort of a feedback or reaction to what I do, rather for the things to be rather bland and simplistic. It's not necessarily my cup of tea nowadays, there are a few things that I would change in terms of the audio and the options being globally available and not just in the main lobby that is locked and not accessible at all once you start the match. To me it's fine, like there's nothing special about it. If you're like a zombie horror enthusiast then that's definitely for you, but I'm much more interested in other type of stuff. That's pretty much it, one more failed overview in the history of the channel. Can't do much about it, like at least I tried to make something out of it and I hope PlayStation will be more pleasant to work with. <laughs> See you around!